Hi everyone, I thought I would pop on and do a video of, I don't think I've ever, not too sure if I've ever done one of these before, where I do a, um, a share of the layouts that I've made recently. So since I've been able to um, get back crafting again, I have um, been fairly busy with making these layouts. Um, these are for a multitude of different things, so some design teams, some that I've just done for um, online um, crops and all sorts this has got dog hair on it um, so I thought I would just flick through these layouts for you to show what I've been creating recently so I did this one um, for a challenge online and it was a um, use five um, use five of certain things I can't remember what it was now I know one was a shaker pocket so I created these little um, shaker pockets using some tulle um, I think it was hearts maybe I can't even remember so I did this layout and it's probably one of my favorites Valentine's Day from last year then I did this at a um, weekend retreat with um, some friends and oh, I've got some wet some dry glue there um, so this one here um, I, ca I can't remember what the challenge was on this one um, but yeah I did this one here and this collection I try and remember the collections oh that's come off that's why I just stick that back on um, this is the Dear Lizzie Stay Colourful collection I'm trying to bash through a load of my stash um, I don't I'm not buying any new collections at the moment I'm trying to get rid of some of my older stuff um, so yeah I use the Dear Lizzie Stay Colourful for this one Next up is this one. This was for an online um, crop challenge as well. And this was um, made using, this is the Chamel papers from, I think from Sparkle City. I'm not hundred percent sure, um, but I wanted to use up a lot of this ephemera. Um, and these are pieces from the Dream Big by Simple Stories. So I wanted to get a lot of these bits bits and pieces used up so it's the next one and then this one here used a um, unicorn cut file this is me and my um, scrappy friends at a retreat last year and um, yeah so the cut file did most of the work now funny story about this layout um, I was doing some um, I was going to do some black ink splatters um, which I didn't do in the end I went with white but I was going to do some black ink splatters and as I held it over the oh no it was a leaky pen that was it the leaky pen dropped onto my cardstock and it dropped in almost a perfect position to give the unicorn a little nose so that was a happy accident um yeah so I made this one again I think I did this at a weekend uh retreat and yeah again using up a lot of the um ephemera and bits and stickers and stuff from um this wasn't dream big this is oh no, I think this is Dream Big actually. And then I use the Nouveau Drops um, as accents all around the page as well, which I love. And then I did this one again at a weekend retreat. Um, I'm loving using the pom-pom trim at the moment, just adding a bit of um, touchy-feely bits. Um, so this one here, I used a really small photo, an Instax photo of a rainbow. Um, again, you'll see the little bits. Um, this is from Oh Happy Day from Simple Stories. But again, just trying to use up those little bits that I've got. And then I hand wrote my journaling, which was brave. Um, and then I cut them into strips and made that an element down the page. This one here again was another um, weekend um, online retreat crop thing um this one here i actually paper piece this um super cute hedgehog and the reason i did this is because um we did a card making um class with heffy doodle stamps and i made i don't have it to hand but i made this um i made this card with um, a hedgehog stamp um and so i thought i would um, paper piece a hedgehog as well and the rest of this is made from um, I think all of this is made from Chamel Sparkle City as well so I mixed the alphas and just added on a load of and there's a little hedgehog here as well um, added on a load of little um, a load of other lovely a load of other bits as well I'm trying to say other but I'm looking at the word lovely so I'm saying otherly then this one here was a challenge to use black cardstock. Um, I don't think I've ever done a white cut file on a black 
cardstock background so i thought i'd give that a go um i added in some messy ink splatters to give the um the background some added interest um and the rest of these bits and pieces are from chamel sparkle city i used a bit of vellum from sparkle city as well to back some of the cut files that's a really cool technique i left some of them blank and then added pattern paper to some of the others now adding my title on um they i couldn't just stick it straight into the cut file because there were too many dips and holes so what i've done is i've stuck it onto some white cardstock and then just trimmed around and then stuck that on instead it's probably one of my favorites recently this one here again this is from simple stories um from the oh that needs sticking down um oh happy day with a little bit of added washi tape down the side here again just using up little bits and pieces that i've got um stickers um added in some um the, the uh, this is from girl squad this word here and i've got a few words left on the sheet so i was trying to get them used up um and it worked perfectly on this and it added it helped with the black um, pieces in here as well this one here again another simple story is just trying to use up all those bits from um i think some of these are from oh happy day and some bits are from um dream big again i've got some enamel uh, some nouveau drops on here as well as my enamel dots um, and this is a photograph from when we went to um, a craft fair last February so it's nice to get that photograph scrapped this one here I did for UK scrap addicts and our um, challenge for this month um, was vertical design so um, I decided to make everything go down the center of my page um, so my photographs here and then all of my embellishments underneath and I'm really pleased with how this one came out Again, using the same technique, this would not stick very well on those photos. So I popped it onto some white, which there's white in the background paper as well. So it all ties in, stuck it onto some white and then just fussy cut around it. This one here um, I did for uh, Quirky Kits, I'm on their design team. And um, this paper, this collection or some of the paper from the kit is from the Crafty Girl collection, I want to say. Um, the little stickers here um, are from Pink Fresh Studio and I made my signature 3D stars. I love making these. Um, and this was done from a sketch which I completely changed up. Um, it had a whole load of um, layers of pattern paper behind the photos, but I didn't want any of that. The paper was busy enough. Um, and yeah, just documenting my um, uh, my my crafty mayhem last year when I had to pack up my whole craft room due to the leak. So um, it, again, it was great to get another photograph scrapped from last year. And I used again some Nouveau drops here um, as enamel dots. This one here, <coughs> excuse me, I did recently for a challenge over on one of the um i think it might have been oh, i can't remember actually um it was a it was a challenge for a uk company and i decided to crack out the here and there collection here and there collection um from crate paper which i've used very little of these little paper airplanes are from the newest vicky boot in let's wonder i want to call it collection so i um made my layout go horizontal and then i just hand stitched these little um paper airplane trails and added those on as well because i thought they added to the to the to the layout and this is um all about us lording it up in uh, premium economy last year when we went to um when we went to florida we've just booked again to go to florida in june Fingers crossed we have no issue with this whole coronavirus thing. Um, so this one again um, is another one of the um, simple stories from um, Oh Happy Day. And I had a very small scrap of this rainbow paper left. So <clears throat> behind here it's actually, it's gutted. There's nothing behind this photo but it made a perfect map behind my photo. And then I used the extra <clears throat> scrap, excuse me, to... Um, do the same again to help this white so i'm doing white on white so i needed something behind it to help it pop um and so sticking that on there and then i just fussy cut around it and i did the same with the word you as well 
um, to help that pop out on the white. So this is almost like a take on a grid layout with the small little squares, um, but it just helped me use up some of the other bits and then just finished it all off with some ink splatters, black ink splatters and um, some um, Nuvo drops again. I think these were Nuvo drops. Well, they might be enamel dots actually. And then this one here, <clears throat> I did this at my friend's house at a crafty cabin. Um, again, this is using um, Chamel's. This is Chamel's. Um, ah, it was from Head in the Clouds. Um, so I started with this big piece, this big castle piece, and I wasn't too sure how I was going to use this on a layout, but I decided to make that my focal element and then build around it. So... I did my photo so they were off slightly at an angle. So this one this way and this one this way. And then I used that space um, here to start building my title. And I love mixing alphas um, to build my title. The only thing that I did with this, I was a bit silly, um, was I added this banner piece on and then I date stamped it. And that was fine. But then um, when I had, I was sorting out all my layouts then um, I thought, oh, I haven't date stamped. So I added a date, date stamp here. But I realised, oh, so I've double date stamped it, but that's fine. So yeah, that, that was Head in the Clouds. Then this one here was an, uh, another one from Head in the Clouds as well. Um, and this was a take on a sketch where it was just ba a basic um, uh, grid of two and two with stitching now I decided not to do the stitching but I used the the grid layout but changed it up a bit I didn't want necessarily a grid format as in the square format um, so I went with I changed it and I put um, hearts here instead um, and then on there there's a cut apart paper that's A to Z um, and I had the B and the T for Bella and Treacle so I used that effectively as my title and then I just tucked in um, a few bits here and there, almost having my diagonal um, elements here, but I didn't want them to join. So I wanted it to maintain that grid format. This one here I did for an online challenge as well. <clears throat> Don't look too closely at some of these. Um, we went to see Avenue Q last year um, and I wanted to be able to add in my tickets. Um, so this is a great way. I always keep things like this and I rarely get to actually put them onto a layout. So it's nice to have these tucked in along with the single photo because you weren't actually allowed to take photos um, during the show. So I took one before. This is using um, Chimel's... Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, box of crayons. That's this one. So um, there was this paper with all of these um, frames. So what I did is I actually cut out the middle of the frame um and then i stuck it onto a piece of white cardstock and then i run that through my typewriter and then that enabled me to be able to add on my little um words in the frames and these are just songs or sayings from the actual show again i did the same technique with my title i stuck it on white but then i actually doubled it up and put it onto blue as well and that brought in the blue from the little um the little frames this one here, um, again, was another online challenge and um, I can't even remember what the challenge was to do. Um, but I used the Chamel Field Trip, which I haven't really used. Um, so I decided to crack that open and actually get it used. Photograph of my three nephews. Um, and I loved how this one came out. So I took, um, I took inspiration from the circle um elements there was a paper that had all of these on so i fussy cut these out there was this was from the die cut pack and then i used a mix of the thicker alphas and the small puffy ones um, and added random words here and there this one here i did for a design team layout for quirky kits and um this is using the pink fresh studios paper that's got all of these circle elements on now i didn't want to fussy cut any of these out i just wanted to embellish on top of the page so i used these um little these were stickers these circles um and i just de-stick them um with the um the powder tool ek success powder tool um, and then i popped them up onto some foam and then i added those in i then also added in some um 
black word stickers from Pretty Little Studios. I then also added in some little enamel, um, sorry, these are Nuvo drops in this colour. Uh, I added in some doodling, so some fake stitching, some hand-drawn circles, that sort of thing, just to add to the layout. Then for my title, I used these thickers and um, they were from the previous kit um, and so I mounted my uh, cut my photo in a circle mounted it on white and then mounted it on another of the pattern papers from the kit and then added my title football mad um, around here and then just did a simple date stamp so most of the work's already done for you with this paper which is great um, so this was a super quick simple easy layout this one here going back to um field trip again a little photograph of my youngest nephew and so I decided to use um yeah field trip so I distressed the edges I've actually fussy cut these dinosaurs there are some dinosaurs in the ephemera pack but I decided to fussy cut these ones I added on a bramble fox um, perspective and then I um, used the thickers from the collection to spell out number one monster. And I think the challenge, this was for an online challenge to use number one in your title. So I use that. So, yeah, number one monster. Coming to the last two here. So this one, I think um, this one here, I used a, um, a kit to make this one. And this is the pink. I think it's the pink Fresh Studios paper. And it's the one that goes diagonally um, on the corner of the page. But what I did is I managed to cut it out, distress the edges and then almost make a rainbow. It stops at about here. But using um, the stickers, these are from, uh, sorry, the ephemera, these are from Jen Hadfield. Using the ephemera on both sides, you actually cut off that side of the rainbow. And then I just drew and um, cut out and stitched these um, clouds. And then these cute puffy stickers are from Pink, Fra uh, sorry, from Pink Paisley. Um, and these are from the Lucky Us collection, along with the little black ones as well. Um, these are just thickers um, called type, I think, or something like that. So, yeah, loved how that one came out. And then one of the last ones I made was for um, a challenge for a retreat I'm going to in a couple of weeks. Fingers crossed, depend depending on uh, what happens in the next couple of weeks. Um, and this was to use lots of um, alphas. Now, I've already got my alpha attack series um, on my channel where I used a ton of alphas making different layouts. Um, so... This is another one where I used a ton. So I went with a vertical design. So knowing that my title was going to end up down the centre. Um, I found a quote on Pinterest. Um, Pinterest, maybe? Yeah, something like that. Or on Google. Um, so I found this quote and um, I wanted a quote about selfies. Um, as I've just got some random selfies, nothing particular to say about it. Um, but I found this quote that um, really resonated with me. So I decided to mix in three different alphas to make this one. Um, and it's a great way to use up some of the ones where you've got less letters. Um, even the E's on here, I think were A's. I just cut off a little bit, I think. Um, so I managed to um, I managed to fake some of these. I've run out of E's on the little white ones, even though I've had three packs of these. So again, I'm just using F's and Frankenstein in them to make E's. And then I just made two really simple little clusters, making sure I'm using um, a, something flat. So a flat piece. And then I've got something puffy from the puffy stickers and something 3D from the little enamel um, stars from the same collection. So I've been fairly busy the last couple of weeks. Um making some of these and it's nice to actually get back into um scrapbooking and uh, it's nice to be able to share these um layouts with you so let me know in the comments below which of these layouts um is your favorite i know there's a lot to choose from um or favorites let me know which are your favorites um let me know if there's a particular collection you'd like to, to see me work with and if i have that collection um then perhaps i can pop a video up um, showing you some uh, a layout or two making that collection um, and if uh, you have enjoyed the video then um, please give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel then I'd love for you to subscribe for more of this do go back and look at some of my other um, videos as well they're all in playlists to help you find them nice and easily and um, uh, stay tuned for another video really soon